Hi, I'm Professor Clements, and today the problem we're going to be working on is titration of a weak acid with a strong base. And for this problem, I've chose formic acid, just randomly essentially. And we're going to titrate 25 milliliters of 0.2 molar formic acid with 0.4 molar sodium hydroxide. And it turns out there's several points to a titration that we're going to be worried about. So this video is going to come in several parts. One of the things we might be concerned about is what's the initial pH. When we put the formic acid on our bench top, what is going to be the initial pH of that? And it turns out that problem is relatively simple if you remember how to do a weak acid, because formic acid is simply a weak acid. And so even though it's a titration problem, this part of it's fairly simple, and we're just going to look at how do we solve for the pH of a weak acid. So we take our formic acid, and we go ahead and we look up in a table that the Ka for formic acid is 1.8 times 10 to the minus fourth. And you remember for a Ka problem, we've got our formic acid, which is HCHO2. It's going to dissociate in equilibrium to H plus and CHO2 minus the formate ion. And all of these are in aqueous solution. OK, so that's what we have for our balanced equation. So our K is just going to be H plus times CHO2 minus the formate ion divided by the concentration of HCHO2. And how are we going to find all those? Well, how we find these concentrations anytime there's an equilibrium problem is we set ourselves up an ice table. So I'm going to write the reaction. I'm going to write the ICE, and we'll figure out what goes in there. So we've got HCHO2 going to H plus and CHO2 minus. We've got ICE. And we're given an initial concentration of the formic acid. Remember, the amount we have doesn't matter. 10 milliliters will be the same pH as 100 milliliters. And so we put in our concentration there, 0 0.200 molar. We're in water, so the concentration of H plus is actually 10 to the minus seventh molar. But we're going to assume we can ignore that, that it's small enough that we're just going to make it 0. And of course, this one is also 0. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to figure out which way it reacts. Now, obviously, it's going to react moving to the right. And so we've got an x here, an x here, and a minus x here. And so the equilibrium line is just the sum of those, 0.2 minus x, x, and x. So now that we've got that equilibrium line, we can plug that equilibrium line straight into our expression for k that we have on the top of the screen. And so k. Ka specifically is 1.8 times 10 to the minus fourth, and it's those concentrations, which is the concentration of H plus, the concentration of the formate ion, and then the concentration of formic acid. So we could get a quadratic in here. We could solve for x. You can plug it into uh, computers online if you want to get an exact one. But let's say we were on an exam and you didn't feel like doing the quadratic formula. What we could do in this case is use the small x assumption, which is probably a pretty good assumption because our Ka value and our concentration are separated by much more than a factor of 100. And so that's probably going to be a good one. So we're going to make the small x assumption, which is basically saying that x is much, much less than 0 0.2. So when we take 0.2 minus x, that's going to be approximately 0 0.2. And it drops that x out of there and makes our solving easier. And so what do we have? We have 1.8 times 10 to the minus fourth is going to be x squared over 0 0.200. We get that x squared, if we multiply both sides by the 0.2, is equal to 3.6 times 10 to the minus fifth. And then if you take the square root of both sides, you get x is plus or minus. But we don't need to look at the minus one, because we know x is going to be positive in this case. And x is equal to 6.0 times 10 to the minus third molar. And that's also equal to the concentration of H plus. Since that's equal to the concentration of H plus, we can find the pH by just taking the negative log of that. And that's base 10 of 6.0 times 10 to the minus third. And you end up with an answer of 2.22. Okay, So 2.22 is the pH of a pure 0 0.2 molar formic acid solution. <coughs>
in the other videos, we're going to talk about what happens as we continue to titrate this, well, we actually start to titrate it, and we add maybe 10 milliliters of hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, and 20 milliliters of sodium hydroxide, what's going to happen at those different points. So I hope this video was helpful. Thanks.